Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is how to engage in Instagram just in order for you to reach out to more potential clients. So if one of the things that you discover that you need to use Instagram to grow your business, this is one of your social, the social media platforms that you're going to use, this is the right video for you because I'm going to teach you my tricks and what helps me to engage better and to reach out to more potential clients. So let's start. So tip number one, contact every new follower you got so this is what i do for example every new follower i get i send an automatic message saying like hey thank you for following us i use different type of emojis because i've got my type of emojis that i like to use but use it um you can use whatever you want just bring your personality out there and just put out there you can phrase it and do it the way you want it but just send like some message saying like hi thank you i'm here by doing that you open for yourself actually a new channel to them to engage with you to them to communicate with you and that's what you're trying to do so yes yeah, so some of them will just be maybe just gonna you know uh mark the hard sign of it and some of them and actually i can tell you from my side i get a lot of messages of people say why wow, this is such an inspiring page thank you for everything some will come with questions and it just open it for a conversation so use it that's how you're also going to get like um you know a way for you to communicate with them and share about things that you do maybe for example if you want them to follow you and other stuff or if you want to share with them about like a new product that you're selling but also it's going to help you from the side that you're going to actually get some feedback about your page and you will know and you will see that you're actually doing what you if you're trying to actually if you're actually sorry achieving what you're trying to uh, achieve and that's a nice way to do it so if you want to more than welcome to follow big consulting on instagram and you're going to see how i act there another tip the number two is just be yourself so on the way you engage with them on the way as i said like if i'll take the number one just send a message that's it, just be yourself, just bring yourself out there so people can understand and feel a connection with you. Um, so if you like to use your emoji with some people doing flip-flops or whatsoever, like a lot of hearts, so use it because that's who you are and you bottom line, you want the right people to follow you because you want the people that can actually lead to a sale, people that actually become your clients. So use it, be yourself, be loyal to yourself, bring yourself out there. And that's the thing, don't try to be either very serious or too much fun, just be you. And that's it, that's what people get. People want to feel a certain type of connection, so do it. Number three, so one of the things I like to use is actually voice notes. So sometimes people ask me questions. And instead of just me writing something so long with so much information, I just record a voice note. And then by that, people are actually surprised because then they start a conversation with me. On the other side, they also know that there is a person behind it. So they feel like, you know, they actually reply back in a voice note. And it's nice because you start a conversation. People are building trust with you because they know there's someone behind it. It's not like just a computer or something like that. Someone just tapping all the time or just posting things. They're actual a person, someone that actually knows what he's talking about. So by me sending voice notes, people know, okay, now they can hear my voice. So they know they can feel a connection. Um, some of the people also like always like for me they tell me about my accent which is nice to hear and but from there they actually understand and see how much knowledge I've got and they just like you know see me as their go-to person and then they come with more questions and then you start building a relationship with them and that's what you're trying to do because that's how you're gonna reach out to more potential clients so use the voice note don't be afraid think about it you're just building trust and you are becoming their go-to person and just making it more personal and as i said before be yourself and that's what they're gonna hear they're gonna hear you tip number four just be consistent and this is something everyone will come and tell you it doesn't matter on which social media platform consistency is the key because people want to know that whenever for example if i look at my page my page it's a lot of quotes in it and once in a while i put some videos so people know that this is what they're going to get so if they're looking for some inspiration quotes they're going to come to my account to my page and that's what i do so make sure that you're very consistent that you're sharing with them the information that they require so if your business is about any type of brand of selling a certain product share your products with the right information and always be consistent with that if you have a service and you share some tips some advices some quotes make sure that you're consistent with them don't give them one day a tip on 
I don't know, like clothing in one day, a, a tip on like how to grow your business. You need to be aligned with what you are promising them, with what your brand story is about, and just put it out there and just make sure that you're consistent. And I, the consistency also part from but I come from the part of the design of it and the messages coming out of it. It needs to be very clear, very united, and something that they know that if they're searching for this, your place is the right place for them to, to be in. So be consistent. So tip number five, um, just ask questions, engage with them. So I use it also on my post, for example. Uh, I'll ask them questions. I'll ask them to write big in the comment below. So by the way, if you agree to my uh, to my tips, you can put big in the comments below. And you're more than welcome also to subscribe to my channel. But yes, I'm asking questions. And I'm also trying to ask more questions by the story. So I'll put certain poll, I'll do give me a like, yes, no on that. Um, maybe even just to give it an option to give a full answer. And that's how you engage with them because people are communicating with you. They tell you what they like, what they're not, what's happening in their life, how they do their business, how they things are, things are moving on their side. Even if you're just selling whatever it is, even if it's just like, for example, yoga poses, you can ask like, can you do this? Do you do this? And that's how you just communicate. You engage with them. And that's what you're trying to do. Also, it's going to help you to grow your Instagram account because Instagram algorithm will see that there's a lot of traffic, there's a lot of movement, and you're getting people to stay longer in Instagram. So they will definitely going to help you to promote yourself and you're also going to reach out to more people, which is something you want. You're also going to open, as I said, a channel of communication. And that's it. And you can take it from there. So do it. Um, and just if for, for anything you want to do, just ask the question. But again, I'll go back to my previous step. Make sure that you're very consistent with your content. So make sure that even the question that you're asking is going to lead them to communicate with you. It's going to lead you to understand more about what they require. And just make sure that you get the right information out of it. So don't just ask general questions that are going to help you with nothing. Uh, make sure that you're asking questions that are going to help them to feel comfortable to share and tell, but also for you to get the right information and then say, take it from there. So for example, if I will ask someone, how do you do? Uh, we do things outside of your comfort zone. And then everyone can write something else and share the stories in the post or either it's in the story. And through that, I can see if some people are struggling, I can send them a private message and say, listen, thank you for replying to my post. I saw your comment. What do you think about X, Y, Z? And I can maybe help you with this. That's it. That's how you open it. So make sure you are asking questions that are going to lead to something that you will benefit, it, that your business will benefit. Another way to engage and to reach out to more potential clients is actually when you are, you know, when you're also like scrolling and looking and you see some quotes or some stuff that you want to share with your potential clients. So why not just share it in the stories? Take more and more people to do things that your, your business can benefit, that the people that are following you can benefit and just share it. Because also by sharing it, you are showing that you're open to share. You are also showing that uh, you're giving more added value to your clients that you're not really in a competition with others and you don't mind sharing because you know that your clients will benefit out of it, like all potential clients. And on top of it, the people that you share their post uh, in the story and you tag them, they will usually will send you a message of a thank you. Uh, they may be going to share you back so you through that can actually get uh, more new followers, but also you can start a conversation with them and say, yeah, my pleasure, I love your content, sure. Maybe get even a type of collaboration out of it from this, uh, but this is something nice to do. So you are just gonna share in the story, their post, tag them, and that's it. If you open again a conversation with someone that can be a potential client of yours. So why not use it? So if I'm just gonna sum it all up, it's very important for you to engage with your potential clients and use the social media platforms for that and use that to build your own community and become the go-to person in your own industry. Um, on Instagram, it's very easy because you can actually send private messages to each and every one that, and it's coming from your business account versus, for example, Facebook, that if you want to usually most of the time, if they didn't contact you and you contact them, you need to send it from your private account. So here is the opposite. So why not use it? But make sure that you're always loyal to yourself and bring yourself. Even when you engage for the first time and say like, hey, thank you for following us or whatever you write down, 
but like even say like hi how are you doing uh, I want to say thank you or things like that make sure that you bring yourself that what you write down it's not what other people write down it's what you think that's gonna present yourself and bring your story out there and your personality um, out there and it's also as I said important to be consistent bring the right content to your right target audience so you will reach out to more and more people and by reaching out to more and more people and then you engage with them on the different messages on the different stories on the different posts by asking questions and things like that you're just gonna help them to come and understand that you they're a good to person and for them to say okay I want to work with you what are your services how you can you assist so just use it I hope this uh, was very helpful uh, I'm gonna appreciate any comment uh, if you're gonna write it down below and give me a big if you agree and as I said subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time